Leland Best here over at the Megabit Affiliate. Uh, I just wanted to cut a really quick video to go with a post that I just did the other day with regards to the alphabet soup keyword research method. So I'm just going to jump right in. Basically, since Google implemented the instant search feature in their search engine, it allows people to not only go in here and look for certain specific terms that they're searching for, but Google also does us the, the favor of granting us access to some of the other more obvious searches that are being done by people out on the internet. So I'm just going to use the example I used in my post, which was uh, the how to make money example. And what you can see here is right off the bat, Google has given us four potential possibilities as to where we might want to find how to make money. One of them is blogging. Uh, the other one is just the key term itself, uh, another online and one from at home. So um, these are good opportunities for us to focus on. We can just take these keyword strings and start to plug them into our keyword research tools to get the metrics that we need to know as far as competition and, and search traffic is concerned. This is obviously just a generic method, but the algorithm that Google uses is actually one that produces results based on those items that are most often searched online. So what we can do from here and as shown in the report, or in the article that I just put together, is we can go through this with an alphabet soup technique, which really just means we're going to add one letter of the alphabet in succession to the end of the search string that we have. So in this case, uh, we're going to start off with how to make money A, uh, maybe as a kid, as a teen, at home, or at 14. And this is the example I used in my post, which shows basically that with these four strings right here, I could probably write up a pretty good article on how to make money as a teenager at home and use these four specific keywords as a focus and probably get some pretty good rankings in the search engine so from there all we really have to do is go back to each letter of the alphabet we'll go how to make money B which would be blogging blogging online blogging 2014 and the beauty of blogging and we can continue through that process with C D E, and you can find so many possibilities that you could utilize as keyword searches that are currently being used out there on Google. And of course, these are going to translate across most of the search engines. These are mostly Google specific, but it's not to say that those same people aren't using these types of searches over on Bing and Yahoo. Uh, so, as I did in the example, I went with the keyword for blogging. And I wanted to show one other feature that Google throws in here for us that we can find even more information from. And that's if we do go ahead and fire up the how to make money blogging. But if we scroll down to the bottom of the screen, what we're going to find is that Google has also given us an, an area here, which are the searches related to how to make money blogging. So we can also find several more keywords, such as how to make money blogging in 2013, which is a little outdated, but obviously there were a lot of people looking for that back a couple of years ago. Um, online, fast, from home, on the internet, uh, make money with WordPress, make money online blogging. So they've given us a few more examples here. And what we could actually do is go a little bit deeper and add that into the end of this search and keep going with the alphabet soup technique to come up with some more long tail keywords so that we have things like how to make money blogging with Amazon, how to make money blogging about food. These are very um, specific keywords that you can use in a strategy to get all that low-hanging fruit where not so many people are using these keyword searches but they are out there and they are generating regular traffic uh, it might not be the, the huge amount of traffic that you would get from how to make money but the way that uh, Google works is you're gonna get traffic from any of these long tail keywords as time goes on your traffic builds and, and you tend to get a lot more visitors so uh, just wanted to get through that aspect of it so that everybody could see how simple the, the alphabet soup technique is on Google. Now there is a site that I use on occasion which is called ubersuggest.org. This makes this process a little bit easier. So let's use the keyword that we used in the last example, how to make money. And we'll go ahead and let this run its thing. It's going to go through and suggest a whole bunch of keywords for us on ubersuggest. And I'll show you another particular version of this kind of software on another free site once it's done doing its thing. So now instead of having to go through manually on Google and pick each letter one at a time, uh, 
Uber Suggest has done this for us, and you can see here we can move ahead to any of the letters in the alphabet, but you can see some of the more um, obvious searches that might come in here uh, that may have been searched recently, so that it's a plus into the system. And then we have each letter, A, B, C, D, E, all the way down through to Z. So right there with just one quick string and a plug into uh, Uber Suggest, we have several hundred keywords that we could probably derive from this list. Uh, at least a hundred here, if not two hundred, and then we could go back and plug one of these particular ones into our search engine, or I'm sorry, into our keyword research tools, whichever ones you may use. Some use Market Samurai, some use uh, Word Tracker, others are out there using Keyword Canine. I myself use Jaxi, and so for instance, in this case, if I were to go ahead and fire up Jaxi, now I'm in Jaxi, I can just enter that information in right here and paste the one that I pulled off of Uber and see what kind of keywords I can find. Now here with Jaxi, it's one of the quickest softwares I've found available online to develop keywords. And not only that, but it gives us all of the rankings and traffic and average counts that we would get if we were up on page one. So plenty of things that we could rank for out here. I can set this up to show me the keyword index so that I have a quality indicator here in Jaxi, which is kind of unique to Jaxi, along with uh, quoted search results so that I can see exactly how many people are out there on certain sites using this exact keyword string. So from there I could select all these keywords, save them to a list, and not only that, but I have the ability to brainstorm any other long tail keyword strings that have any relation whatsoever to what I just had. So again right there I've just found some really fantastic keywords that I can use in my next article. So uh, the other keyword tool I wanted to show you just real quick as a freebie, if you don't particularly like Uber Suggest, Another one out there that's a free keyword tool is KeywordTool.io. And what this allows you to do is pretty much the same thing. So if we were to take the how to make money, let's just say how to make money string here that we started with, and go through Google. Now we can specify here which search engines we want to run from. And we can run them through the YouTube search engine, the Bing search engine, or the App Store. Uh, in this case, here is I'm where you'll see the this keyword up through Google tool has omitted all of the metrics that are available, and that's where Keyword Tool Pro wants to charge you for this information. But you will see where at least it went through the basic keyword search and then started up on the alphabet soup technique like we did before, uh, beginning of course with the first letter A, both in the back and in the front, and that's another opportunity that we didn't talk about on. Uh, doing it yourself you could always throw that B word in there but I think what you're gonna find for the most part is that putting it in front of your string isn't really gonna benefit you on things like how to or ways to or you know any question type statement that starts with a who what where when why um, adding a letter to the front of that it isn't really gonna help you at all so um, just wanted to show you that also I hope that helped, and if you are interested in looking into the Jaxi software that I use, I will be rewriting a review for that shortly. I will see you in the next video. Take care.